Uh, hi, beautiful people. It's your girl Faye. I'm back, but clearly, I'm back with another reaction video. And uh, in today's episode, I'm here with a song by the Allman Brothers Band. Uh, that is the uh, Weeping Post. And uh, the version I'll be listening to is uh, from uh, 1970, a live version. You already know I love the 70s so much. Uh, so I'm very, very excited and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing what it will unravel. And uh, so I'm hoping that you're going to take this journey with me all the way to the end. And uh, as per usual, I'll be giving my comments as well as interpretation at the end. So I'm hoping to see you there. And uh, if this is the kind of content you are interested in, look no further because you're right in the right place. So go ahead right now and smash on that subscribe button down below if uh, you haven't done so already and uh, be part of this lovely family. Uh, so without further ado, let's dig straight into Weeping Post and uh, hear what uh, the Allman Brothers Band has to say about it. You know the drill. Remember to stick until the end because uh, why not so? Let's dig in. Okay.
such a fool And I had to stand by and take it me Oh, for loving you I drown myself in Tavo And I look at what you've done But nothing seemed to change The bedtime seemed the same
That was the Weeping Post by the Allman Brothers Band. I hope uh, you loved it. And uh, if you did, uh, you know what to do. Go ahead and give the video some love. Give it a thumbs up and then drop a comment and share. How did you feel uh, listening to this? What is your take on it? What is your takeaway from it? And of course, anything else you want to share regarding it, be sure to do so uh, down in the comment section. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about uh, the instrumentals in it. Uh, I love instruments. Uh, so in this song, uh, like uh, from the lyrics, you can tell that uh, the song is a sad one. And uh, I love the fact that uh, the instrumentals have been uh, uh, created in a way that uh, it's uh, beautiful, but yet again bringing that uh, sadness to it or rather that uh, mood that is not so hyper like a happy kind of mood but rather a mood that is uh, taking you it's more like uh, not meditation kind of but uh, making you think of uh, the song in a way that uh, bringing that sadness to you and uh, not just being excited and uh, like uh, hearing sad words uh, so I would say that uh, the instrumentals really went well with uh, the message in the song and uh, in terms of uh, the performance I loved how they were feeling the music uh, you could tell the singer was really feeling it from uh, the vocals and uh, even the way uh, like uh, his body language was showing that uh, he's really feeling the pain and uh, so was the drama and uh, even the other guitar player, the, I'll call him the one that was tapping the uh, guitar, what is that, the, the, the notes, I think so, uh, tapping them like uh, producing a good sound by doing that so yeah that is how i'll describe him uh so also that guy you could see like uh the way he was playing he was really feeling the song so i loved the fact that uh they were allowing the music to run through them or rather allowing themselves to feel the music maybe uh so yeah vice versa like i feel like uh, both of them are just uh but explaining the same thing uh so then uh, in terms of uh, the lyrics, that is the uh, weeping post. Uh, the voice in the song is someone who's uh, very, very hurt. Uh, so this is this is a love song, but uh, from a heartbreak kind of uh, like a viewpoint. Uh, so this person is in love with this woman, but the woman is uh, like has taken away all his money and uh, has, like he's hurting him. Uh, so he's uh, feeling like he's tied to a weeping post or rather uh, like uh, he's feeling that... Uh, his life is just created in a way that uh, it's so miserable and uh, whatever is happening to him is uh, just bringing tears and cries and all that. So hence the title, Weeping Post, at least that's what uh, I interpret it to be. Uh, so yeah, what is my takeaway from the song? I don't think there is uh, a takeaway from it other than saying that uh, sometimes, like in the song, it's showing this man as the... Uh, being tied to a weeping post or rather feeling that his life is tied to a weeping post so he's uh, just meant to attract uh, sadness cries and all that i feel like uh, my takeaway from it will be that uh, maybe if you find yourself in such a situation you should know when to say no or rather when to say stop yeah let me know what you think uh, let me know your interpretation and take away from it as well and remember i always say music is an art and uh the beauty of it is the fact that uh, we can listen to the same song but have completely different interpretations. So please, uh, uh, no wrong answer or rather no wrong interpretation. So just share how you feel about it, your interpretation. And uh, let's get to understand the song from your point of view as well. Because uh, that is what this channel is all about. And uh, once again, thank you for watching Nawa Penda Sana. That is Swahili for I love you so much. And uh, looking forward to your feedback. Uh, but before I go, 
If today is your first time here, I say karibu. Karibu is Swahili for welcome and uh, feel right at home. Eh? Don't forget to hit on that uh, subscribe button down below if uh, you haven't done so already. Sorry, so that you can be part of this lovely family. And uh, if you'd love to be notified, you know what to do. Click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any episode going forward. And last but not least, if uh, you'd love to support this channel, you're also welcome to do so. All you need to do is check the description below where you'll find the link to my patron community as well as my PayPal address. And uh, you can have guaranteed requests through either platforms as well. So once again, thank you for watching. Nawapenda sana. Again, Swahili for I love you so much. And uh, until next time, take care of yourself and be safe. And uh, hoping that no one feels like uh, their life is tied to a weeping force. And if, if uh, you feel so, do something to get out of it. I'm out. Peace out and uh, bye.